Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick video on a new feature in the Retro Pocket 2 Plus. In front of me, I have Retro Pocket 2 Plus and Retro Pocket 2, both using Duck Station, running Spyro Year of the Dragon. So you can see right now we're in Duck Station. We have Spyro running at 1x native resolution. It can't run full speed, which is a separate topic, but you can see that the image is stretched out to fill this 16 by nine screen. If you've plugged in your Retroid Pocket 2 to a TV, this is basically how you've always seen this device. If we look at that same exact scene on Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, you can see that we have black bars on the left and the right side. One of the cool things about the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus is that it uses an FPGA to get a video signal out from the MIPI display. Because it uses an FPGA, you have a lot of freedom over how you can configure the video out signal. In this instance, we have an HDMI signal coming out from a 4x3 screen to a 16x9 monitor, and it has padded black bars on the left and the right side. With these black bars on the left and the right side, you have a centered 4x3 image that is an exact representation of the image that you see on the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. Right now, we're only running the game at 1x native resolution. We're still using the Duck Station emulator, but if I change this to 2x, you can see the big difference that this makes. And as you can see here, Spyro 2 running at 2x native resolution. The actual internal resolution of this game is 1022 by 448. And as you can see, it looks amazing on this 16 by nine screen. I will just point out that the video signal on the actual Retroid Pocket 2 Plus is turned off when you use HDMI in this way. But that's actually a really good thing because it's gonna save you a lot of power and it's gonna allow you to use this with a very long HDMI cable sitting on a couch as a controller. One other thing that I wanna point out before finishing up this video is the topic of battery life. In situations where both devices are under the exact same workload, you're gonna see a significant power saving on the Retro Pocket 2 Plus. On screen now, you can see the current discharge of both devices using Duck Station at 1x native resolution. The Retro Pocket 2 is using around 800 milliamps of power and it isn't running the game at full speed but the Retro Pocket 2 Plus is running the game at full speed and it's only using 500 milliamps of power. That's a huge savings.